Guy Fieri is cable TV's highest paid chef, pulling in an estimated $26 million a year. Fieri was born, sans the frosted tips, in Columbus, Ohio in 1968, but was raised in Ferndale, a town in Humboldt County, California. His parents were veggie-loving hippies, managers at a Western clothing store. When Guy was 10, he got his first entrepreneurial taste of the food business. He created the awesome pretzel cart that he would take to fairs and rodeos, where hungry crowds would devour his soft pretzels. As he got older, he continued to work in the food and beverage industry, paying his dues as a dishwasher for a Mexican restaurant. He saved up enough money to become an exchange student in Chantilly, France his junior year of high school. We're guessing he consumed a healthy amount of baguettes and brie there because he continued to follow his passion for food after graduation. He studied hospitality management at UN Las Vegas and managed a few restaurants before finally opening his first one in 2006, Johnny Garlic's in Santa Rosa, California. Hi, I'm Guy Fieri and welcome to this Around the same time he opened that, he sent in an audition tape to be a contestant on the next Food Network star. Guy! And went on to win the whole thing securing him his first show. Back then, Food Network's audience was mostly middle-aged females, and the network hoped Guy Fieri's huge personality would draw in more male viewers. Flames and Grease brought in the dudes, and when Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives premiered in 2006, Guy joined the elite club of celebrity chefs. He wasn't a snobby chef screaming at people. He was a regular guy that ate burgers and dive bars, and America ate that up. Guy was a full-on character and an instant magnet for memes. The internet went to work creating a Guy Fieri meme for almost anything, which only made him more famous. But the network could have never imagined the magnitude of the show's success. The laid-back dude had a magical draw. His fame led to Guy Fieri cookbooks, the Guy Fieri Roadshow, and Guy Fieri Salsa. Since then, he's hosted more than 14 series on Food Network and Triple D is still on the air more than 15 years later. This is where things go off the rails right here, folks. Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives generated more than $230 million in ad revenue in just the last year. And Guy recently signed a contract with Food Network, which will pay out $80 million over three years, a $50 million raise from his prior agreement. His name is attached to 80 kitchens worldwide, and he has a delivery-only business, Flavortown Kitchen, as well as a new chain, The Chicken Guy. Not to mention Santo Tequila, which he owns with former Van Halen singer Sammy Hagar. And while he's not doing all of that, Fieri and his family make time to give back to the community, to restaurants, to the troops, and more. All in all, Guy is a pretty big deal.